Welcome, this is 49G7 and now we're going to look at the total electrical potential energy of a group of charges. So if we look at this idea here, it's not that we have two mother charges and we're introducing a third charge and we want to know the potential energy of this third charge. It's that we have these two charges and we're introducing a third charge and we want to know the potential energy of the entire group. And whereas before there was the effect of Q3 on Q1 and the effect of Q2 on Q1, what we're taking into account here is also the effect of Q3 on Q2. Imagine that these are springs and we've worked out that before and we've worked out that before and that's what we did just previously but now we're also taking into account this one as well it's it's more and so what we say is that the total electrical potential energy of a group of three charges is given by and it would be well ke and now it's potential energy so it's q1 q2 over r 1, 2, and Q2, Q3 over R2, 3, and Q1, Q3 over R1, 3. So, let's have a look at this. So we say, what is the total potential energy of this group of charges? So we're going to say, well, my total potential energy is going to equal, it's going to be Ke, Q1, Q2 over R1, 2, plus Q1, Q3 over R1, 3 plus Q2, Q3 over R2, 3. As long as the, the numbers go with the, the, as long as the numbers on top go with the numbers on the bottom, everything's okay. So U is equal to Ke. And then let's just go through these. Let's do this first one to begin with. So this would be plus 6 times minus 2 better put curly brackets in here because the k here applies to everything so that's plus 6 and minus 2 and the separation is 6 plus let's do these top two this is going to be a plus 6 times a plus 3 over a 2 and then let's do the third one which is going to be this one down here the third pair which is plus 3 times minus 2 over a distance of 4. So, U is equal to Ke, and then this is going to be minus 12 over 6, added 2, and this is going to be plus 18 over 2, added 2, and this will be minus 6 over 4. So u is equal to ke. And then this would be minus 2 plus, uh, what would that, 2 9s are 18. So that's plus 9 minus 1.5. That makes sense? Yeah, looks like it makes sense. Which equals ke times... Well, minus 2 and 9 makes 7, My, 7 and minus 1.5 makes 6, 5.5. So this is 5.5. So U is equal to plus 5.5 Ke joules. And there's my answer there. So just remember the equation and be careful with your signs and everything's going to be fine. And there we have it.